Oh, hey guys, Sage is here. Usually I don't like spamming videos. Originally this was gonna be the video that went up before, or in place of the Feathers video, but someone was like, Sage's make a comedy video about that, so I did. It did not pan out as well as I was hoping it would, in that I was not very, uh, you know, enthusiastic about it, kinda upset about that, might delete that video. Still, nonetheless, um, <laughs> for those who are asking, um, well, this is actually kinda, well, in the background right now, let me just state that right now, that is from a Japanese stream. Um, the audio is actually copywritten, and other than adjusting the, t I guess, the uh, tone and, you know, the volume and all that fun stuff, I would rather not, so it's just kind of muted, but you can still see some uh, Keda and even Tiki gameplay in the background while I talk, so if you're interested in any of that, feel free to look. Uh, outside of that, though, I figured it would be time to really just kind of talk about what I was trying to say in that video last time, because several of you were like, Sages, do, do you know that Nintendo does season passes now, and, you know, it's obvious that they were going to do this? Yes, I thought that was pretty clear. Just so we're clear here, um, Hyrule Warriors, when that came out on the Wii U, that had a season pass. Not only that, but when it was re-released on the 3DS, later on with, the, you know, a little bit of additional content, that also got a season pass, so... I really don't... I mean, not only that, but, you know, I'm I'm the guy who bought the $40 DLC for a $40 game. Or was it $50? I honestly forget. I'm talking about Echoes in there. Really, really overpriced season pass. That was ridiculous. But still, nonetheless, I knew for a fact that it was coming out. I knew there was going to be DLC from the onset. It was pretty much a given considering not only was it made by Koei, but also that uh, Nintendo's kind of been doing season passes a lot more lately as it's come along, so it you know, makes sense. Uh, but the second thing that I was just trying to say with that video is, <laughs> look, the DLC is all, you know, all content that's kind of already in the game. I, I really don't think Azura should be DLC, but it looks like she's going to be. Uh, so for those who were asking about why I was talking about it, it was mostly because I was just like, why is Azura DLC? That's really weird to me. Still, nonetheless, uh, the rest of it was just, oh, hey, it's, you know, DLC based on the games that are already in there. And that kind of makes sense because they've already stated several times that it's going to be focused around those three games. Uh, you know, now they did throw us a bone in some locations. I mean, we got Lynn, we got Celica, uh, that's cool, and... Technically, I don't know if Navarre is actually going to be in there or what's going on there. They they actually removed him from the cutscene in the new in the new trailer. So either they accidentally let that slip and he's in there, or you know. but all in all, I really am not trying to bash Warriors. Honestly, I'm really excited for it. I really want to play it. I'm buying it in Japanese and then, of course, buying it in English when it comes out as well because Nintendo doesn't like me. <laughs> no, seriously, they. They they won't they won't let this channel actually be like um part of their whole like sponsorship thing probably because we're not really child friendly when it comes down to it but I understand that whole situation still nonetheless you know I'm gonna be doing that because I like the games and I like Muso games and I like Fire Emblem so figured why not and you know for the most part I don't dislike Fates Fates is okay I really loved Awakening because that was the game that really got me into the series. And I'm happy to see Martha and his games, of course, you know, or game right now, at least for Shadow Dragon, kind of brought into that as well. So it makes sense in that regard as well. But uh, people seem to think I'm bashing it just because it has Fates and Awakening and things like that. But no, no, no. I mean, the way I see it is they've already stated that they really want to do another game if this one does well. So I'm pretty certain that if it ever comes down to that and if they ever decide to do another game... They'll probably be like, hey, you know, we've already done Awakening and Fates, and, you know, I guess Shadow Dragon as well. Why not focus on the other games, you know, the bigger ones, Sacred Stones, you know, the Radiant Saga, things like that. And they could probably do that pretty well. Um, that is to say, if Ike or Roy aren't already in the game somehow and are just, you know, kind of hidden somewhere, who knows? I don't know. But uh, I just figured I would clear that up a bit because right now... Uh, there are a lot of comments going in there that's like, oh man, well, if you don't like any of these games, no. Uh, it amazes me that, uh, I mean, I don't, I understand that the uh, the Fire Emblem community is kind of divisive in how it, you know, sees itself at times. You know, there's the people who really like Awakening, and there's people who really like the hardcore, more uh, 
old school games, you know, Sacred Stones and things like that. I understand that. It's fine. You guys can have your own opinion, but I'm in the middle ground. I like it all for the most part, and I will continue to be that. Um, I don't really bash things. I just kind of make fun of them. I'm always going to make fun of it. I'm going to make fun of everything in that. Um, you know, it's like, oh, hey, look, more Fates characters. Cool. Or, oh, God, it's Takumi. Things like that. But people always get... <laughs> Get it, it amazes me how people get bent out of shape with that, but I think at a whole point here we need to realize that, you know, it's the entire series, and these games are a part of that series, so we're going to have to take them in stride, you know. Not everyone likes Sacred Stones, not everyone liked Awakening, not everyone liked these things and that things, but, you know, it's it's going to be in the game, it's going to be there, it's just going to happen. Sorry, that's just how it's going to go, and I know a lot of people are... <laughs> Really wondering if I really don't like Awakening or things like that. No, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. I'm really looking forward to Warriors, and I'm hoping to see more as it comes along. So, um, hopefully Warriors gets a sequel. We'll see. And we'll get more of those characters that people love from the older games as well. Brought back into this, you know, new realm that everyone enjoys. But uh, for now, let's just be happy with what we got. I hope you guys understand that, and... Um, I'm, I honestly think this is going to be a fun little game for everyone, even if it doesn't have the, you know, characters that you enjoy in it. Just, just stating the obvious, guys. Uh, so, hold on, hold on there, and don't worry too much about things, and I hope you will, uh, you know, join me in these little weird adventures, and nothing too crazy happens. I mean, just, don't, don't get so upset over one thing or another. It's all copacetic in a way. <laughs> At least when it comes to this channel. I, I really, I'll make fun of you no matter what. That's a promise. Anyways, catch you guys later. Bye.